Next up, we have, oh, Ortea. Uh, this time is 2x MP. Uh, I think there are like four or five uh, Taeon videos in this playlist. Uh, you guys really, really like Taeon. Um, so let's go. Another like kind of cool acoustic electric guitar vibe. The, the ending of a relationship. Mm -hmm. That like slow drifting apart feeling. Now that's manipulative, girl. I see. And it's not 2x as in like to the letter x. It's like you are going to become an x, right? Like uh but I think the the song has such a cool R&B flavor to it. It's got a nice groove. It f feels like this sudden realization or well not sudden, but like slow realization that this relationship isn't good, right? Like that slowly becoming aware of the manipulation and the narcissism and how self-involved the partner was and all the things that seemed charming before are no longer charming they they're starting to become tiresome and then they it goes further beyond tiresome and into upsetting right and there's this point of hitting no return where you go no all right this is done um and you feel that not just in the mv and in the lyrics but in the production as well uh this was pretty masterfully done right like i didn't know what to expect from taeon right like i knew she was supposed to be like this vocal powerhouse who has a lot of uh, hit songs, but uh, both what was the other one called? Uh, shoot, can't control myself and 2x have been surprising in the different vibes and genres that she's taken on, right? Whereas 
uh, can't control myself almost went in a light rock alternative kind of vibe to it. Uh, this went really heavy into the R&B vibe. Um, yeah, I've been really, I've, I've really been uh, enjoying our, our Taeon experience tonight. Um, so that will wrap it up for that suggestion. Thank you. Um, next, all right. Next, we have Max Changman, Taeon, Winter, and on, on a stage called Priority. So I imagine this is another one of those SM collaboration stage videos. Uh, Max Changman was the host of Kingdom, wasn't he? He was the M MC on Kingdom. Was he TVXQ? Was that, was that his group? I don't know any of their music, but I think I know him just from, from Kingdom. Winter's got a pretty voice. He's got a nice voice too, damn. That ad lib. Yeah, it is the MC from Kingdom. Excuse me. Uh, all right, so Max and Teon just said, hey, Winter, hold on a second. We got to go run some laps uh, and just laid down some of the nastiest vocal runs I've seen in a while. Um, all right. That was like some old school, old school R&B. Um, that, 
that's like some of the stuff that you know was around before i was you know like getting into that style of music um and i'm here for it it was fire uh and they just kind of flexed the shit on it it was just oh i do really love when we get to see uh male and female k-pop vocalists uh collab like that and the harmonies and the different sounds that they can make as a group when they have the option of both a male and female vocal in a single track is really cool uh i wish we got to see it more without all sorts of ridiculous drama being included with it every so often a duet or a trio or uh or more right in the case of card um is really cool to see right like uh you know when groups like big bang used to collab with to anyone for like lollipop or, or things like that you just get some some really cool stuff when uh that happens and it's rare now and that makes me sad uh, but that was fire okay so that's going to do it for that suggestion. And uh, all right, next up, we have yet another Taehan MV. Uh, this one, I believe, is the single that she just dropped yesterday uh, called Heaven. Taehan's always out here with some wild concepts for her MVs. Was that apples made of hair? That felt incredibly short, but it wasn't. It was over three minutes. Um, it felt like it went by so fast. Uh, the thing that was fun for me was that it felt like uh, 
for some reason, Tim Burton just decided to make K-pop music videos a little bit, right? Like that was kind of the vibe I was getting through this. And it had a dark sense of humor to the MV. There was uh, clearly like a, a pretty serious message as it was going through it, but there was a lightheartedness to it as well in the way that they portrayed it. Um, and I think all three of these songs have been tackling kind of darker concepts of like the end of a relationship or a like really rocky kind of relationship. So I I don't know if that's kind of Taeyeon's thing, right? Or if she's got some different lanes as well, but like the musical styles have all been very different. Uh, it's just the, the subject matter, at least in the three that we've seen so far, have been somewhat similar. Um, also, uh, although, you know, I am getting a very quick look at him and I'm not spending, you know, a whole lot of time dissecting storylines and things like that. So there is a chance that I'm missing something. Uh, in these. That said... I've enjoyed all three of the songs that we've heard from her tonight. Um, I think she's very extremely talented vocally, especially when we heard that priority stage. Like, that, you know, like, I knew she could sing well from Got the Beat, and I knew she could sing well from the other two that we heard. But priority shocked me in terms of, like, just how powerful uh, and the technical control she has over... Uh, her runs so it's interesting to see all the different flavors and styles that she's taken all right all right and we are now at the finale uh i believe of this playlist here uh yes this is a final <laughs> another Taeon video yes you guys very very much like Taeon. um and i have been warned that this is a medley and it will also uh potentially make me cry so i have i have tissues ready i'm i'm hoping that like maybe you guys hyped it up too much and maybe i'm not going to be absolutely destroyed by this to finish this out but uh that would be surprising so let's check this out this is taeon's top 12 emotional singing concert edition let's go This is a Japanese song?
Her Japanese tracks sound fire. I can tell this one will get me when I can hear the full song. I can already tell that one. I think luckily these clips have been so short that it's not enough for me to get like into the song yet. This one also is going to destroy me. I can already know. going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. They didn't include enough of this each track to make me tear up, but like this is going to be a problem. Yeah, man, her Japanese tracks.
she's tearing up. All right, that one's gonna get me. Hmm. I got cocky. The second she started tearing up, I was like, oh no, I'm in danger. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, very cool. I think, you know, this did a really good job of showing off the power of her vocals that weren't just kind of like in the R&B side of things. We got more of like a, a heavy ballad vibe from her. So we were like, okay, we know she does power ballads. We know she does them a lot and she, we know she does them really well. Uh, I got very lucky that they kept us going through these songs at a very fast clip. Uh, so I didn't have quite enough time to like latch on to the emotions of a song and really get myself into a place where I'd uh, tear up until that last one when she started tearing up and then I knew I was in trouble. Uh, but yeah, Taeyeon's going to be a problem. Uh-huh. Very much so. I think uh, she's got an amazingly powerful voice. It's very crystal clear. Um, it cuts like a knife. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of the, um, the vibe that I've got from her voices. It's very sharp, uh, and not in like a musical sense, like I just like the, the vibe of it. It's got a very strong, clear, sharp vibe to it. Uh, and it's impressive as hell. Um, but that is all of the videos that we've got, guys. Uh, this was 30 of your suggestions for the music side of this video, uh, this uh, anniversary celebration. We have more variety content to come tomorrow. Uh, please don't be surprised if this is split into kind of multiple chunks. Uh, I will do my best to film some like intros and outros for those parts so that the, they don't feel as weird like if we're uh, if you just pick one up in the middle. Um, but I, I'm hoping I don't have to do that. I'm hoping YouTube is kind to me. Cross my fingers. Cross your fingers, everybody. Um, but that is going to do it for the music part of our anniversary celebration. Thank you so much for all of your suggestions. And thank you so much for spending the year with me. Uh, whether you came in at the very beginning or at the very end, I love you all. Uh, till next time. Love you. Bye.